All right, well, if you don't know, batteries that are not completely sealed can burp hydrogen um, every once in a while. And if you know about the Hindenburg, you know that hydrogen explodes. When you are dealing with electricity that can spark and hydrogen that can explode, uh, you've got to be really careful. So when you have sealed batteries, you need to build a box around them that's vented to the outside to keep it separate from all of your electronics. So that's what I've started doing here. You can see this is not attached at all, but um, it's 16 inches high, uh, 25 inches deep, and then uh, 23 inches wide, I think, which is big enough for all of my uh, batteries and then some, so I should have a little bit of extra space for wiring and stuff, uh, be able to move around in there. Um, and then I've installed this vent here that is not secured yet, but it will be. That's going to go all the way outside. And then on the outside you'll see there's a vent. I put the vent cap on right here. This is a neato little thing I got. Um, it's screwed in and then I sealed it, sealed all the screw holes with uh, sealant and sealed it all the way around. It's waterproof but you can see underneath, I think, there's a bunch of slats in here that let air in and then there's like a uh, shape up here so all the air that comes in has to go up and around and then into the, the hole like that and then there's a vent on the inside. I hope that makes sense. Uh, that way, when it rains, water drips off the top. Even if it gets in here a little bit, it can't get all the way up and around to get in and penetrate inside the bus. So air can come out, air can go in, water can only go with gravity. So hopefully that will suffice for my box. I just gotta make sure that it's pretty, pretty well sealed. And uh, yeah, putting it together right now. There we go, this is the battery box. Uh, it's attached to the ground, to the wall, to the studs. It's got this neato hinge that I put in. It's got weather stripping around the edges so that it is airtight. It's missing a latch. I need to put some kind of latch here on the front of it to keep it closed. But other than that, it's pretty good. Attach that thing in there. So there is vent. I've actually been feeling a little bit of air across circulation coming in and out of here. So it's going to stay nice and uh, ventilated. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about the batteries. The idea is batteries fit in the box, wire them together, close this and latch it, and then up here, I'm just going to drill a hole through this 2x4 to allow the, wi the wires from the, from the charge controller, which is going to be about here, to come down and into the box, and then they will be wired to the batteries. And then I'll seal up that hole as best as I can so that no air gets through. Um, there's a little bit more sealing that needs to happen to make sure that this box is pretty much airtight. And, uh, but other than that, looks like we're ready to start working on our solar setup. Hey everybody, uh, it's been a few days since the last little bit of this video. Um, I got the last piece of my, my battery box. This is just a little hinge that I got to put on the front. As you can see, it's snowing, which is good for me because that means snow day. There's Ralphie. He's having a good time. Uh, but yeah, snow days are good for me because that means I don't have uh, a lot of work that I gotta do. I don't have to go show houses, so I'm gonna work on the bus. All right, the uh, box is pretty much done. Just put the latch on right here. You can see that there's a weather stripping seal all around the top. Uh, keep it as airtight as possible. Hopefully all the air will go out that vent right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and close this. You can see that it kind of sits up so this uh, latch will help with keeping it sealed. And that's where my batteries are gonna go. Next step is to put this back panel up. This is good. There's gonna put a piece of wood right here that's gonna hold all of the uh, electrical equipment. That right there is just a board that's being held in by compression. Cut it to just the right size so that it's like perfect being held. It's actually not going anywhere as is, but uh, I'm gonna screw it into place and that'll add a little bit of extra support for the for the uh, the post that's gonna be here. I think I'll probably put another piece of wood right there too to anchor it all in. Huh? But it's coming along. Getting just about getting ready to bring the batteries out here. Of course it's below freezing right now. You can see my breath. <sighs> Whatever. Alright, I have the supports in there. It ain't pretty but they're supports, no one's gonna see them. Uh, they are solid, not going anywhere. This one especially, put a little bit of L-bracket support in there. Yeah, it's time to put a board up there that's gonna hold all of my electrical equipment. Uh, so get some measurements and get to it. All right, well, unfortunately I can't do this one-handed, but I wanted to show you, I'm putting wood glue all around here. It's going to get some screws too, but I'm going to take this piece that I cut, mount it up here using clips, and then screw it right up there. And this is going to serve as the, uh, the board that's going to hold all, hold all of my electrical equipment. Alright, just got the, uh, the board on here. I realized that I'm making my life harder. Uh, in one of my earlier, I told you that I was going to drill through this board. This is a two by four. There's nothing underneath it, and that's where the wires are going to be run. I just realized I made my life a lot more difficult. You can see with the drill only go if it's straight up and down. That's where it hits, but it's not a very big deal. There's only two wires, well three if you count the grounding wire that need to go through there. So, it's looking really good. You can take these off now. And there we have it. This thing is not moving. This can absolutely hold all of my electrical stuff. There are two things that I'm building around. One's the electrical system. I want to make sure that I can get everything placed where I want. I chose this spot on the bus because uh, it's very central, so my wire runs everywhere else are going to be pretty pretty easy to handle. Batteries down below in their own se separate compartment, everything else in here, and then there will be some kind of doorway here that will block all of this, so you're not going to see. All of this is going to be hidden. That's one thing. The other thing is the shower, which is going to go right here. The drain's going to be about here. So uh got to get my shower pan and build around there and then I can start working on some of the plumbing. It's looking really good. It's like a throne right now, but uh, next step is to start installing a bunch of my electrical equipment in here. So the next video is going to be pretty exciting. Thanks for watching.